Hey, hello and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. Today in this video, I'm going to show you an uh, interesting feature within DNAC. It's, it's been always there, but uh, we never talked about it. So today I'm going to talk, uh, talk about this feature called event and subscription and how it can benefit uh, you if you are a, like, you're managing DNAC, you're responsible for managing DNAC and network um, uh, for your company or, or your organization. Uh, this feature can be real help. It's like a network management feature, but it's not about uh, managing or monitoring individual devices. But uh, since DNAC is our SDN controller, uh, you can, instead of monitoring each and every um, network element uh, itself, you can actually use DNAC to achieve some of those alerting features, right? But don't confuse it with assurance. Assurance is altogether a different and a very big uh, feature. So let's get started. Uh, uh, first, let me talk about, as, as, as we do, like talk about theory, and then I'll go to the demo. So what we are going to discuss today is DNAC events and subscription, a preset number of issues or event uh, that may occur within the network is already defined in DNAC. So there are certain e events already defined in DNAC and you can actually subscribe to that. So it's like a subscription based thing. Uh, if you are following my channel, I have talked about pub, uh, pub sub kind of uh, alerting. So you can subscribe to it and whenever the event happen, you will get a notification. So it's like a traps like SNMP traps right oh, sorry about this uh, let me okay there are multiple options for notification like you can get notified uh, in a multiple manners like email rest based APIs or you can integrate a third party uh, tool uh, and there are certain third party tools which is supported but we will focus on email notification here Prerequisite, obviously you need to have a DNAC and the DNAC onboarded network, but at the same time, you need to be have a super admin role. And uh, uh, I, I, I would like to pardon uh, because a lot of my video I have run under an assumption that you are, a, you by default you have super admin role, but it may not be a case. So I just want to specify it here. So what are, uh, how to work with event and subscription? There are five step process. Actually, there's only two steps, rest, rest are optional. So you choose your event uh, and subscribe to it. While subscribing, choose a way how you want to get notification, email based notification, rest API notification. We will do email. Optionally, you can play around with uh, events. That means the events are defined, but their severity, their definition, their weightage, all those things can be customized. So like like a ap down may be very important for one customer but ap down may not be uh, that uh, important for another customer because they have like a lot of ap's or it's a other anything right so you can basically change the customize uh, the severity and uh, priority uh, then we will review uh, the event summary page and finally i'll show you how the email uh, how the alert looks like when the email comes uh, a word from about configuring email event notification and this is coming from DNA uh, literature itself. I didn't write it. So basically it says that it uh, supports email notification with this release and the release I'll show you it's 1339 as we speak. This is the latest uh, one, uh, 1 1.3 release. Uh, based on events selected by user GUI for uh, GUI for email subscription, email notification is automatically sent out, sent out via DNAC. Up to 1000 mails a day can sent out. So yes, there are some upper limit. Uh, we don't want DNAC to spam your network. DNA supports email notification based on events selected by user uh, in, uh, okay, that's, that's duplicate. Sorry, uh, sorry about that. Uh, DNS Center supports email notification up to 20 individual email addresses. So it can notify 20 network uh, admins. And if you have more than that, you can actually use ADS, right? So one alias, then under that, yeah, there will be multiple. So you, basically alias and individual, they it, it don't, it don't care. 20 is the limit. And obviously standard, uh, it uses SMTP protocol and a standard template is used for email. It contains subject and message action. Uh, okay, final email. Uh, this is a screenshot of my email. Sorry, I cannot disclose all, um, all my email address, but you can see here, right? Uh, uh, 
I am subscribed to some event and when the event happened, I got the email here and you can see that this is what it says that the, uh, certain device cannot reach certain services and this is for your information. You should better take action or acknowledge it. Um, the thing is, you may be wondering that uh, click here for details. Right now, it's a dead link. Um, maybe in future, there will be a cross launch uh, opportunity available, but uh, it, it's nothing in there right now. It's an empty hyperlink. All right, let's go back to demo then. And I like the way it says, sincerely Cisco DNA Center. Really cool. It's like human touch, right? All right, so as I mentioned, um, I'm going to show you version. Version is 1339 and I am a super admin. That's why I'm seeing the platform tab. Uh, if you are not a super admin, you may not see this tab entirely. All right, so uh, there are two ways to go about uh, event and subscription. The first is platform. Go to manage, uh, uh, sorry, developer toolkit and here you see events, right? And here is the list of all the events. So I have 57 events and these are preset of event. That means these are predefined e events. AP down, WLC reboot crash, switch power failure, a lot of good good events, you know. And what, what, what we get along with events, we have a description, we have a type, a category and severity, right? So um, it may be a network related event, it may be application related event and category is just like um, based on severity. So you have error, which is defined as save two, then you have warning, which is save three. Um, do we have anything? Yep, uh, alert, sorry about this. Okay, uh, which is save one. All these good events, very good events uh, defined already. Now, if you want to go ahead, you can simply go ahead and subscribe to it. When you try to subscribe, give it this event a name. You can subscribe one or more events, but um, I'm not going to subscribe, but I'm going to just show you what all the features um, there. So delete me and there are two subscription type, rest and email. I'm going to choose email and it's going to tell you that warning email setting need to be configured before creating an email subscription so that means you have not defined your email right what the email address dnc should use or what is my SM, uh, uh, smtp server so you can click on email settings and it will cross launch and see it is bringing you back to system uh, so system settings and this is the second place you can configure your event and subscription. So you can come here and define your uh, primary SMTP server. Uh, generally it's port 25. Um, if your organization have any username and password, feel free to uh, uh, define that. But you may be wondering that what is going to be my primary SMTP server. Uh, check with your org. Uh, most of the org have their web server, uh, which is like outbound.google.com, outbound. .google .com, outbound. Uh, um, uh, cisco.com or uh, in my case outbound.sdntechforum.com and come right that's my web, uh, web server and it's using smtp port 25 uh, you can if you have redundancy you can define your secondary smtp server and then you can say from uh, you may be thinking like from whose uh, what uh, email id address i should use you can very well make it up you know that, that's that's not a legit email address it has to be but yes two is definitely uh it should be a legitimate address because you want to uh, notify a, a real person right from is a dnac itself so you can say that this is my production dnac or lab dnac at uh, xyz.com or organization.com uh, whatever smtp server you are using here um, and then subject so this is about email setting and then you can test it it is actively it is going to try to connect to smtp server and see if the connection is reachable all right so i'm not going to uh, define that but then uh, instead of going back to platform and events what you can do you can simply go to events and subscription here and continue from there so this page is just like the previous uh, thing under platform same events are there you can go ahead and select one or multiple event and say subscribe. You will see this is the same page. And if you select email, all the other things are gone. So 
uh, if you are choosing REST API, then there are a few more things you have to do. But for email, all you need is a active email address uh, as, uh, or a SMTP server. Yep. So this is how you can set uh, uh, or um, subscribe to events. Now, as I uh, shown you in my document that you can actually go ahead and change or customize this event information. So how you can do that? You can again go back to platform under developer toolkit, um, oh, sorry, under manage, come to configuration, and here is the event setting, the landing page. And here you'll find the same events, but there are a few more things you can see here. So you have edit option actually. So you can click on edit, you can customize, like what is the type, what is the warning, if you want to change the severity and save. So you can now, customize your event setting right because you you may feel that ap flap is really not important for me so you can bring down the severity um, so th these are the things you can do general setting you can ignore that but we go back to bundle and i'm just quickly talk about if you happen to uh, select rest api here you have to come to rest api active this bundle if it is not active uh, then you have to enable it and then you can create your rest api endpoint but that is for uh, later videos uh, event summary finally this is the event summary page since i have no events subscribe yes the page is blank otherwise you will see um, the event summary here so with this i'm going to stop the video and I hope uh, my videos are helping you. And if you have any particular uh, request, feel free to write it in comment and stay safe. Thank you very much.